welcome back to Music Sound Noise and on today's episode we're going to be reviewing an artist by the name of Courtney Garcia and his song Late Night. So let's just go ahead and get into it. It's playing right now in the background. Late night. Late night. Late night. Late night. Everybody, so that was Courtney Garcia and featuring B. Weave. Uh, B. Weave was on the chorus and Late Courtney night. Garcia is actually the rapper. Um, and um, the title, the song of it, the, the song's title is Late Night. You want to get into it first? No, I'll let you go. All right, so this song, like, just first of all, this is for the grown and sexy. Very uh, sexual song. Very sexual song. Um, there's even a sex noises at the end. That's how it ends. Um, and it reminded me of. Marcus's In Them Guts. Remember that song? Yeah, that's a really good song. Just uh, you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what the song reminded me of, personally. Um, so, yeah, the song is a sexual song. It, it, um, um, it, I think this is a song for all the side dudes. I think he's a side dude in this song. I don't know if he has a main lady. I don't get that vibe. He is messing around with somebody, but I don't think he has a main lady. Basically, he is involved with a young woman that is in a relationship, and she is cheating on whoever with him. And he's saying that uh, her sex is so... I don't even know if he's really saying her sex is that good. It, it, he keeps on referencing her vagina. Um, her vagina is so immaculate that it, there's just something about her. He just can't seem to get enough of her. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. There's a bar in there where he... <laughs> He says, let's make sweet sweat while listening to Keep Sweat, make your knees sweat. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty dope. Um, what else do I have? I think the um, production actually sounds good. I like the way he sounds on the beat. Um, Shout out to B-Weave, he was really hitting the notes too. Yeah, B-Weave was... was he was, he ad-libbed the whole song. He did. It, it was a nice little touch. B-Weave actually there's a part where he's like, thinking about you, and it's like, there you go. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's perfect. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's what I have on it. Um, honestly, it's not because the song is sexual in nature because I mean I, I like all types of music but this song personally wasn't for me um, but I think it resonates with like a lot of other people like it's a good song production is good um, his verses his verses are 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 good um, but it just wasn't a song for me it just, I don't know. Too sexual? It might be because it's too sexual. I just, I feel like I wish he would have like, would have gave me more of a shock value maybe. I don't know. Like if you're going to talk about a sexual song, if you're going to take it there, take it there. Is that wrong to say? But like, I no, just. No, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it, was, it was pretty vulgar and, and, but at the same time it was like, it was, it wasn't distasteful. At the same time? It wasn't distasteful. Yeah. Well, it was distasteful for me. Um. Like, it, it's just not my type of song. I don't know, and I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know. Um, but I would say, to get into it, I, I did like the B, I did like B Weaves on, boys, vocals B -weave. on, B Weave, um, um, vocal on, on the, on the beat, the, the bass line hit. Um, baseline hit, really nice. Um, and yeah, I believe it is about, well, I mean, I'm not going to believe. I know it's about a woman that's in a relationship, and I do feel, I do get the vibe that he's in a relationship as well. Um, so it sounds like he's falling in love with his side chick, um, or at least falling in love with, 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 with her vagina. Um, doesn't really talk too much about her as a person. Um, which isn't a problem. Um, I and the first verse is, is more so going into uh, how how pretty much of why you with your nigga if, if 
if you say I'm all you need, then why are you with him? Um, and how he can't get it all off his mind. Second verse is more so uh, sexual and about the sex that they that they have um, together. But I think um, the uh, the bars and the and the sexual references were uh, were creatively done. Um, like you said, that knee sweat, um, the knee sweat uh, bar. Um, also. See, he says my bitch, so I'm pretty sure he has he has he messed around with a couple a couple um, a couple women. He actually wants this one. Uh, from personal experience, I would say that's not player. You don't fall in love with the side chick because it'll never work. Cause she was a side chick for a reason. Um, and that's just giving out game out there for you. Yo, yo, yeah, giving this game out for free, young niggas and nigglets. Girls, if you nigglets, if you got a side nigga, don't fall in love with your side nigga. It's not gonna work, cause he a side nigga. Side nigga play his role. He niggas, not trying to promote it. He not. He don't want that job title. One, two. It's it doesn't logically make sense to wipe your side. Or if you are a side and wife the side, cause you a side, that means you just gonna have to, you gonna be a main course to another side. That's all that means, people. Come on, now I gotta give out game, but I do feel where you was coming from. Um, I, on the song, um, not personally, I'm too bad to bash you, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, um, I heard about it. I heard about it. These things do happen. Um. Nah, but shout out to Courtney Garcia. I do feel like it was it was a well song. Like I said, the beat hit. Um, the, yeah, production was nice. The uh, it was mixed. Um, nice. I do you can feel like hear there him? was. A, yeah, he's very clear. You can hear. Him. I do feel like there was a part in the second verse that sounds really choppy, but I feel like that was the point of it because it kind of like switches up the flow real quick, and that's what right before the whole um, knee sweat, knee sweat, sweat. Um, part. Sweet um, sweat. So I feel like, I do feel like that part was on on, on purpose. Sweat. Um, the the sexual performance and at the ending it is a, a female um, moaning along with keeps clapping. <laughs> Get her um, back blown out. So so yeah so yeah as, as all in all I would say it was, it was a, a good TV mature rated it <laughs> review. Yeah it was it was a, it was it was a good song something to play on if you I wouldn't even say set the mood this is some <laughs> shit you play after you beat it up like nigga <laughs> I locked it down late night. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have personally. But yeah, that's all I have. Like I said, I mean, I don't think the song was bad. Everything, like you said, sounded good. It just wasn't for me. Um, it, was, well, it wasn't my my type of taste of music. Might be played later on tonight. Oh, late God. night. Oh God. Late night. Anyways, thank you for checking out Music Sound Noise. Another immaculate episode. Another one. No. Um, <laughs> it, no. If you all are not subscribed or following us, please do so and let us know what you think. And um, where can you find um, Courtney uh, Gracie? Garcia? Garcia, I'm sorry. Um, you can find him Garcia. actually on his YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you know he might like make a lot of sexual songs because his, YouTube, his YouTube, YouTube name is X X X Courtney Garcia. Now the X X X and Courtney is all one word. Fuck you mean? <laughs> but there's a space between that and Garcia, so. There you have it, man. Yeah, he's when I'm laying in my room, another bitch I'll think about is you. Mr. Courtney guys here. All right. Instagram is also Courtney underscore 87 Garcia. Garcia. So check him out. Um, go to his page if you like the song. Well, first, first of all, listen to the song for yourself. If you like the song, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe <laughs> to him. If you feel like it's a late night. Hi. <laughs> Um, go to his Instagram, check him out, um, and you know, maybe, you know, you might I'm be able to I'm going to keep on saying cracking. that line though, sweet sweat, listen to Keith Sweat. See, look. While your knees but sweat. But she, but she didn't like it though. But it was a dope bar. Hey. He had a dope bar. Anyways, good night everybody. Thanks for coming, watching another episode of Inside Noise.